Just having a look at the new AOR AR DV1. And this is uh, rolled roll on there, VK7 Radio Golf with his new call sign, his uh, full call, which is great. Used to be 7FAJG, but now VK7 Radio Golf. Let's have a listen. It's not bad, actually. I'm just on the 40-metre um, wire. And what's uh, coming in quite well. And uh, as you can see, just a bit normal VFO control. This is just having a quick look at the HF um, side of the AR DV1. And uh, honestly, it seems um, very, very good. Not a lot of people on here at the moment that uh, we can see, but we'll certainly get into this a bit more and um, investigate um, some of the digital functions, etc., etc. But um, it's going pretty strong. Unreal. The little quick look I've had at the, of this um, came with its uh, original um, original box and bits and pieces and uh, books, etc., which is good. Um, and uh, really, you know, clean, very nice radio. Um, came from a mate of mine, Russell, who um, was uh, kind enough to send this down, and uh, they've just gone clear. Not a lot on 40 at the moment, um, and I'm just on a wire having a bit of a play, so may not quite receive everything that uh, we'd like to. Very easy to get into and, and change bands, um, um, like if I want to just go to <laughs> our old... Um, there we go. And suddenly we're listening on channel 35 CB. Um, so very, very easy to jump around. And once again, that 1KC, you can change that to whatever you want. 5, 10KC, 100KC, etc. Um, and um, yeah, on this wire, I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't expect to hear too much, I was going to say. Um, because this wire is uh, not really supposed to be working here. Um, now these are an SDR receiver which I had my doubts about, to be honest. Um, I, I sort of thought, oh, that'd be interesting, just to see you know, how well they've, they've been able to do this. But um, not bad. Um, let's have a look here. Now, for that, um, we're going to have to go... Um, I'm learning as I go here. Um, sitting here in front of me, the button I need. <laughs> That's always the way. Um... Where do you edit that? Hang on to... There it is, right there. Mode, right in front of me. So basically, for 28490, just flick it over there, hit enter, and you're enough a sideband. And then you can have a bit of a look around 10 metres and see what's uh, what's there. But once again, wire is going to be a little bit limited, but you never know what beacons you might hear. They're so strong on 10 metres lately. Uh, there's been some fantastic beacons. Yeah, it's not looking positive, is it? Oops. I just want to flick around. No. Always good to have a look at though. Uh, 10 metres, just for your information, has been very good lately. Just um, absolutely phenomenal. Nothing above. No, just in case. But um, yeah, you're getting a bit of an idea. Just It's a fairly intuitive sort of radio. Um, you can go into their um, um, options. And you bring up the uh, noise reduction where you can change that noise reduction to mid to high. Digitizes a bit in high. You'll hear this mid, not bad. Low, probably you know for most situations is probably you know uh, you won't get any digitization, which is great. Um, then you can go through with your notch filter, set up digital decoding, etc. Um, so yeah, nice. Certainly got a lot of interesting features that um, might uh, uh, be worthwhile having a look at. The next thing that we've got to learn on this is um, using some of the um, uh, digital modes and um, 
as you'll see, I'm just looking up at the moment, having a look at some of the network sites for um, uh, for um, CFA, etc. So um, a lot of work to be done there to work out just exactly how to program those. Uh, this, sorry. Um, and if you've got an AR, uh, sorry, AOR DV1, um, and you've had a lot of experience with uh, programming, be very interested to know what software you have found is best for it. Uh, just to um, to get a bit of an idea uh, exactly what we um, could be using to possibly get around this um, uh, mode again there. Back to the lower side, man. And to, um, yeah, just to see what um, we can actually um, hear on this. Um, on the digital side, um, there's been some really good reports of these working extremely well. Um, so that will be something we'll, we'll do another video on at some stage. But look, just having a, a first look at the um, um, AOR ARDV1, um, certainly uh, I've just sold a, a, an AOR that I absolutely, an 8600 Mark II. And I love that. I, I really, really did. And I'd almost go as far to say, I think I prefer for HF the 8600, um, if anyone really wanted to know. Um, I just think the receiver on HF um, was just that little bit better uh, with the little bit that we've had to play. But, um, um, but you know, we really bought this for the digital functions um, just to see what, um, you know, what we could uh, get out of that. Uh, I did a recording just before. Um, now, to give you an idea, you go function, enter here, uh, hit view, and then you've got all your files here. So I'll go backwards, so I'm going to hand out the way. Um, it reads the SD card. Now, here's the recording that I just did, so uh, we want to hit, oh, sorry, enter on that. Here we go. <laughs> I drink Bogues. <laughs> Bogues and Cascade. <laughs> so that's a recording of Rod talking away on uh, 7150 and the station he's talking to. So then I can just uh, stop that by doing clear, sorry. Uh, that's it. I clear off that, etc, etc. And to do a recording, uh, just you hold the little red button in for a second and you are recording away um, so for example if I was to put in um, oh I don't know we have to change the mode if I do this but 104 point uh, what's the local one here 9 is it yeah so mode we want to go let's just bring that volume down Let's go back to mode again. Oh, so this is going to be wideband FM. I'm just, oh, geez, there's a lot of modes here, isn't there? Have a look at this. Actually, this is a good thing to go through. So lower sideband, upper sideband. I have to look some of these up. AM, FM. I have to work out how to go to FM wide, to be honest, because that's not going to do it there. Auto's not sort of getting the FM wide, so I'll find out just exactly. But look at these. Alenco, uh, P25, DPMR, DCR, DMR. Yesu, so that'll be C4 FM, DSTR, G. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So a lot of modes there to um, to get through. Um, uh, what's a better example? Let's just see. Oh no, there won't be anyone on the repeaters either. Um, I was going to try and show you something here on VHF UHF, but look, the antenna's wrong for it anyway. But um, when in doubt, go back to what you know, um, and uh, then hit mode. And back to lower sideband, enter, and oh, I've got it, I've squelched it. Uh, the squelch, anyway, don't worry about that for the moment. <laughs> I'm still learning on this little thing, but look, lovely little unit. Um, we'll do a lot more on it uh, once we get um, get cracking on um, some of the digital modes. Um, should be very easy to set up for, um, um, say, um, um, C4 FM that we've got set up over here. Um, to, to go into the same Y as X with C4 FM will be you know very very easy. Um, uh, I would dare say that if I went to uh, that there, which means if I put in 144, um, enter, and then I put mode F. Uh, sorry, I need to go to 
Do, do, do. Oh, come on, yay suit, right? Right, so, theoretically, um, if someone comes up on, which they won't do it now, will they? Uh, but if someone comes up on wires X on uh, the Oz repeater net, um, oh, the display is terrible, um, at 144 megs, um, this um, 100 here will transmit over to this unit here. It'll um, just basically um, send the signal from point A to point B. And when we do that with the, I'm just trying to see if I've got it here, but no, I don't. Um, oh, yes, we do. So the same thing applies with the um, little FT70D. And actually, I've got in today uh, somewhere over here uh, another. I've got a program up. Oh, here it is. Um, another one of the um, FT2DRs. Um, and um, once again, that can do the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same thing. So um, in, in theory, if um, I was to have this on 144 megs, um, I've got to be a bit careful because I'll, I'll come up on um, uh, on the um, uh, the Oz repeater net. Oops, just turn that fella on. Little side button on these things. So that's on 144. And we should get a signal up when I do that. VK3 okay, Charlie, Charlie mic testing. testing. There you go, coming straight through that on C4FM. And I also would have come through, as you can see, on the um, Oz Radio Net, uh, which is, as you can see, we're connected to there and up here. And you can see the, the window here. So at the moment, if somebody was to come back to me on the Oz Radio Net, this here will decode C4 FM. OK3, okay, three. Charlie Mike just Mike testing, testing um, yeah. and listening yeah. on an yeah. ARDV1 AOR, 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 AOR scanner. And so basically, some uh, people will be a bit confused when they hear that because they'll go, well, what's he doing with a scanner? Um, <laughs> won't make much sense to them. Uh, but um, as you can see, decoding um, beautifully on uh, C4 FM. Uh, OK3, okay, three. Three. Charlie Mike just using a little um, handheld, but we're actually um, listening on an AR, AR DB1 um, AOR, AOR digital, digital voice receiver. receiver. What if anyone's what if hearing, us? hearing us? And the idea is that this radio here, my little handheld, is going through over into this, acting as a little um, repeater as such. And um, oh, here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. And you're coming and you're through coming this little, through um, little um, uh, digital, uh, digital voice, voice receiver, the ARDV1, ARDV1 beautifully. beautifully. So, um, so that's, um, that's great. great. Thank you very much Thank for the very very test. VK3, Charlie Mike, pretty, pretty happy with himself with because it's working. working. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so that's working well um, on um, C4FM. So, um, and that's a pretty mild sort of test just to. A little bit of break up there. That's my squelch level, I'd say. Oops, hang on, sorry, you finished. Oh, let's have a look here. Oh, yeah, I managed to change my frequency on this, that was clever. Hang on. That's better. So, for the delay, yeah, uh, thanks for that. Um, um, <laughs> I'll do two things, two things at once here. Yeah. We got there. Appreciate the test. Okay, okay three, three Charlie Mike. Cheers. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's um, uh, amazing. Uh, and, and look, a lot to learn on these digital modes, to be honest. Uh, you know, far from any sort of expert on that. So, we'll learn as we go and try and do a bit more on, you know, some of these modes and how they work and, you know, how to get through on, um, you know, listening on various networks, etc., and how to put them in scan groups and, and then, you know, sort of have them running past. So the theory would be I should be able to put this into a memory and then have this scanning, and then, you know, if something pops up here, I, I don't need to have, you know, everything set up in the shack. This here will just find it. So anyway, this has been a very brief look at uh, just a new toy, and as I said, a lot to learn. Um, anyone that's had experience with the ARDV1, um, especially software and working with them, uh, really love to hear from you, um, either through the YouTube uh, channel or uh, Brenton at POSNAV, P-O-S-N-A-V.com.au. Um, love to hear any sort of hints on how you found it was best to uh, to get set up. And any locals in Victoria that have you know set up 
scan groups etc for CFA or for various uh, things that might be useful to go into the uh, DV1 in Victoria. Uh, we're near the New South Wales border so I suppose anything in the New South Wales side too would be very interesting. 73s from VK3CM and uh, this is a very quick look at the AR DV1. We'll try and get a lot more up on this because I couldn't find much on it. So I think you know the more that we can sort of get on there for people to get a look at the better. 73s, all the best. Cheers.